It's pulling my top lip up. That's how strong it is. Oh my god, my eyes are stinging. That name doesn't sound very good. It sounds like shingles. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Twee. Please consider subscribing. That would mean so much to me. In today's video, I have a full face of makeup on. I've been out all day, so it's time to take it all off. But it's not going to be my normal skincare routine, guys. Nope, nope, nope. I'm actually going to be testing out some of Poundland skincare. So I have some masks, some night creams in here. So we're going to be testing all of this out. So if you guys want to see if this can remove all of this cake, please keep watching. Roll the intro. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my hair back because I just freshly washed it, so I don't want all that cleansing and shit to go in my hair, you know? Okay, so I got my little head wrap on, my hair's out the way. I'm gonna take off my lashes first because I always just rip them off. If you wanna be a bit more gentle on your lashes, you can use a little bit of micellar water with a cotton bud, but your girl ain't got no time for that, okay? Okay, so when I went to my local pound lab, they didn't have like a foaming cleanser or anything like that. So the only cleanser that I found was this micellar cleansing water. And this was literally one pound for this big ass bottle of 200 ml. It says that it purifies as well. It's alcohol free, which is amazing. I would have thought something from pound would contain a lot of alcohol. Effectively removes makeup in one step using tiny micellars to attract dirt and makeup. Ooh, like a magnet, damn. I really actually do love micellar waters. I find that they're really, really easy they're really gentle okay so i'm gonna soak up my pad i didn't really apply any waterproof liners today my mascara is not waterproof either so i feel like this hopefully should do a good job the only thing that would be a bit hard to take off is my lips if anyone's wondering what my lips are it's fenty unlocked stunner lip paint it's so so pretty but i've literally gone out and eaten everything so it's literally like crusting at the side you know first impressions it doesn't smell like anything it just smells like water really which is good because it is called micellar water okay so i normally use about two to three pads to remove all my makeup so wish me luck okay i'm gonna hold it here for like 20 seconds and i'm just gently moving up and down as well just so that it can really dissolve the makeup especially my mascara i hate the feeling of like gunky mascara in my eyes so i really want it to like melt away oh it's slightly stinging a bit oh oh god hopefully my eyeball doesn't pop off after this video oh my god my eyes are stinging oh fuck Okay, I'm literally trying to not get in my eye, but I need to get up in there. So, <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky situation we have going on. I have eyeliner in my tight lines, so I'm a bit like, oh, how am I going to get that out, you know, without getting the product in my eye? Oh my god, it's stinging so bad. It says it has no alcohol in it, so I don't know why it's stinging. Okay, it's slowly taking off my eyeliner. The only thing is, because I wear false lashes every single day, I have really hard to remove eyelash glue on. So this is what the pads look like. I haven't even used the other side yet. I don't know if you guys can see, but my eyes are quite red. The stinginess doesn't stay. It's just the initial sting, and then when I stop using it, then it stops stinging. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it to the other side. I'm gonna try to take off this. To try to take off the rest of my foundation. Ugh. Oh, it actually took off the liquid lipstick really well. It's just smearing it everywhere all across my face. Oh my God. Imagine I just wake up in hives tomorrow. Also, today is June the 10th and I just got verified on Instagram. Like, can you guys believe it? You guys have been following me for a long time, especially on this YouTube journey. I have made it my mission every single New Year's resolution to wish to be verified. Always on my birthday, I always wished to be verified. And I know that can sound so sad, but it's one of those things where you just wish and wish and wish. And eventually I kind of gave up hope if i'm honest today when it happened i was just jumping for joy i just couldn't even believe it okay i'm gonna take one more pad because i normally go through about three pads if i'm using a micellar water for a full face so i'm gonna just sweep over this to make sure all the residue is gone and then we're gonna apply on some face masks <laughs> who's excited not me oh my god my face is kind of stinging it feels a bit sensitive Okay, so all my foundation is off now. My face is a little bit stingy and it does feel a little bit tight like around my nose. But apart from that, it's all quite good. I'll probably rate this maybe like a 5 out of 10. That is not really, really bad, but it isn't like the most amazing thing. But if you're in a pinch, it definitely does the job. Okay, so next up, this is the product that I was the most excited about. And it was the product that actually got this video started. So this product is called the Pure Purifying Peel Off Black Mask. It's a bit hard to say, but this is one pound. It's from a brand called Natural Science Shields. That name doesn't sound very good. It sounds like shingles. So this product says it's a deep cleansing peel-off mask, removes blackheads and impurities, while vitamin and plant extracts soften the skin and restore the glowing complexion. 
Hopefully it doesn't singe off my pores. I just want it to take out the blackheads, okay? Don't just rip out the whole nose. It says for best result steam face before. I ain't got no steamer, girl. What do you think this is? Okay, I've got a mask on here. This is just with a little plastic brush. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it onto my nose. Do you know what it smells like? PVA glue. So where I get the most blackheads? Put it on my chin. You know when I said that I was gonna do this video, people were telling me do not do this video because someone had a really bad allergic reaction and a breakout from it, and it literally scared me to do this video. So that's why it took so long to film this video. Okay, I'm gonna apply some on my forehead as well. Might as well, you know. Just do a little sweepy sweep. You see how even it goes on with this brush? It's actually great. If you can find a cheap peel off mask for a pound, and it's good. I think we're onto a winner here, guys. So the only thing that I'm scared about is when I remove this, it's gonna hurt. Should I just apply this on all over? Might as well do the whole shebang shebang. So I wanna apply this on as smooth as possible because the goal when I peel this off is that it just comes off in one go, you know? Do you know what? I was trying to avoid my moustache because this is the bit that literally makes my eyes water, but I feel like we should just do it, you know? Just go up in there. We're gonna do it for the views, you know? Okay, so the product actually went on really nice and opaque. I have had masks like this before from other brands, which was a lot more expensive. And when you squeeze it, there's a lot of clear liquid that comes out first, like the charcoal kind of separated at the bottom. But this actually applied on really, really smooth, which I'm so excited about. I can't wait until this dries down and then we can peel it off. So I'll come back in like 10 minutes. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't move my face right now, as you guys can tell. It's literally all dried down. I've been sitting here for the past 10 minutes with this fan. My face feels extremely tight. It definitely feels really strong. Normally when I talk with other masks, by now it'll kind of like peel all around here. <gasps> oh my god, it's not peeling off at all. This is gonna hurt taking off my top lip. Already when I'm stretching it, it's like so painful. Oh my god. It's literally like Velcro on my skin right now. It's so hard to take off. It's literally removing all my fuzzies. Let me zoom in for you guys. Oh my god, you can literally see all the little fuzz bits come off. If you have peach fuzz or anything like that, do not use this because it's so fucking painful. Can you see all those little hair bits there? Oh shit, man. I'm fucking scared. It's pulling my top lip up. That's how strong it is. Can you see that? Look at it. It's literally like flapping with my top lip right and I just flap. Okay, let me try and do this quick. <sighs> oh, my top lip is so painful. Oh, I can't even do it quick. Three, two, one. Oh. oh my god, it's making my eyes water. Three, two, one. Oh. No, that feels like it ripped off my skin. You guys know if you ever had your top lip waxed before, it's so freaking sensitive right here. I'm scared to take this off my nose now. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, if you ever do this mask, do not put it anywhere near your eye area because that bit is so sensitive. Oh my god, there's little white heads on there. Ah! Okay, forehead. Oh, this bit here is so sensitive because it's right near my eye. I have like cheek fluff here, guys. So it's literally like ripping out everything. <gasps> ah! You guys see all those little white heads? That's nasty! You nasty! My skin looks really dry. Like the bit that I put on the mask, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really matte here and it's like quite pink and sensitive compared to like these bits where I didn't put on the mask. This bit is like quite shiny, a little bit moisturized and this bit in the middle is just like so matte and so dry. My skin is like, please give me some moisturizer. Okay, so I just removed all of that residue of that face mask. Don't know if you guys can see, but my face is looking really pink, especially around my nose. It literally looks like broken capillaries right now. So I'm going to apply on some moisturising face mask next. So I couldn't decide on what one I wanted to go for, and I'm a bit scared of this, I'm not going to lie. So I've got two face masks here. One is a cow face mask, and one is an avocado and oats face mask. Okay, so we're going to do half and half, I think. At one side, I'll do the avocado and oats, and the other side, I'll do kale. I'm not I'm not gonna lie guys, it kind of looks like putty or it looks like paint or something like that. Look at it, it's like all separated inside of here which I'm a bit nervous about. Like, you guys see it's all gathering to one side. Think of the views, Tui, think of the views. The struggle is real these days. This literally smells like hair conditioner. Okay, so it says apply generous layer onto freshly cleansed skin. Oh my god, it's making my eyes water how strong the smell is. Right, I'm being a bit stingy. Come on Tui, slap it on. Well, I guess if Conditioner's good for your hair. It might be good for your skin, right? <laughs> but this one's definitely not as strong. Doesn't smell as like fruity. It doesn't smell good. 
but it doesn't smell as bad. This side of my face is stinging and I don't know if it's from the new face mask or that black face mask. All right, so it tells me to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna do just that while I wipe this little bit off my hair. Alrighty, we are back. I just washed off that face mask. My skin does feel soft. It does feel a little bit tight like around here. Normally my skin never feels tight. Like when I make this expression, it feels like it's stretching a little bit. It's okay, it's time to apply on the next steps. So I have the eye cream and I also have the derma serum. I also have a night cream and a day cream. So I'm gonna apply on the serum first. This says that it fights signs of aging with septi lift monopeptide, jojoba oil, vitamin A, C, E, white water lily extract and rice milk. Oh, the serum's tiny, it looks like a spot treatment. Okay, it says it's fragrance free, which is good for all skin types. Oh, it actually has no fragrance, which I think is really good for skincare. It actually feels really nice and lightweight. Oh, now that I blend it out, it kind of smells a little bit like curry. It smells a bit like chicken tikka. Okay, that's sunk in really nicely. It didn't leave my skin that glowy though. Normally with serums, it's like quite like luminous, you know? So the eye cream and the serum literally looks like it's in the exact same tube. It's quite a thick eye cream. I am a bit scared because normally I hate thick eye creams because I always get those melia spots. This has like a light kind of like flowery scent to it. My skin looks really matte. I'm normally so used to having really, really like shiny skincare. So this is like really weird for me. And then lastly, we've got a night cream. The packaging is very basic. It's another conditioner smell. It smells straight up like herbal essences. Like so strong, it smells like a shampoo. <laughs> Hopefully this will give me the dewiness that I need. So this night cream says that it contains collagen, ceramides, vitamin A, E, and pro-vitamin B5. Oh my God. I feel like I'm putting conditioner all over my face. It's so, so strong. I wish you guys could smell through the camera. Okay, guys, so that is my Poundland skincare routine. My face literally smells so fruity right now, but overall, it isn't too bad. It's very heavily fragranced. So if you are really sensitive to fragrances, maybe give this one a miss, okay? So what do you guys think of my skin? Is it glowing? Does it look a bit patchy? Am I gonna grow a spot tomorrow? I'm a bit scared, but that's it for this skincare routine. If you guys enjoyed this video, but you wanna know what my actual skincare routine is, I actually just recently filmed a full face skincare routine, show you guys my favorite products. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave that at the end of this video. Overall, out of everything that I tried, I quite like the micellar water. This is quite good in a pinch. Also the peel off mask wasn't that bad. Bad, you know it actually took everything out of the pores and if you really want to see that kind of like dead skin come off maybe try that out for a pound you know you can't go too wrong the other creams and masks was very heavily fragranced so if you're allergic or sensitive to fragrances maybe give that one a miss because it is some strong smell guys it's like straight up pantene probing putting on your skin you know if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see some other challenges comment them down below i am so up for challenges this year i'm trying to broaden out of my little beauty bubble so let me know what else you guys want to see from me make sure you check out my channel for other vlogs challenges and stuff like that and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers Mwah. that's how my room gets messy what's the product called i don't know oh my god i need a little break oh fuck oh my god no it landed right in all my tweezers a big clump of guacamole Oh, did you see that? Look what just happened to me. Can you guys see all this? It's literally like a long trail. Jesus Christ. These products are literally going straight in the bin. Cheers. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I must spend my money. I ain't got no money. Got no money. I am freaking broke and smelly. Come on.